Hey everybody, Beth here from Corner Piece Studio. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit since I've been on. Um, life gets busy, work full time, so um, I just wanted to hop in here and just do a little drawing and talking today. Today I decided I was going to pull out my quick sticks. They are a solid tempera paint pen. And there's there's the top of it so I figured I would bring them out and see what I can do for today I want to do something with a fall a fall theme fall looking so let's just see what I can do this is my altered art journal this was a um, Reader's Digest book. I gutted it. Um, I loved the cover. I left the cover, but I painted the spine silver. It has four signatures, and I added a um, strip of daisy ribbon to it. I also punched a hole and added some charms, just to make it inviting and give it a little bit of a sound. So let me just do a little quick flip through. In here, it has um, water watercolor paper in it. So this inside is a fabric that I glued to the inside of the cover. There's my first page. This is my opening page. It says, my intention is to find myself through my art. And my art takes on many different forms of you as as you've seen. So that is just um, watercolor paint, watercolor paints, and some uh, there's a punch, butterfly punch out and a magazine cut out. So and here's a sketch of a palm tree from when I was in Saint Croix. It's a palm tree that was on the property where we were staying. And there's just, um, and I punched some holes. These look like glasses, so I'm thinking of doing something with eyeglasses. I've, it's formulating in my head. And this was a um, Kandinsky style piece of art from um, school where we um, used crayon, white crayon, and then it was a resist. So it was pretty cool. This is just a short page and it's a um, just a little mini collage there. So and I had some more punch outs here. This was from last year. I colored that in school, one of our projects on um, New Zealand. This is a jellyfish. It's done with watercolor pencils. I have yet to finish it and then um, use the water on it. So I'm looking for a page. Here we go. This will be a good page. So I hope everybody's doing okay. I know Western New York and up north of here is getting um, socked with a bit of snow, lake effect snow. But um, it will it will end shortly, hopefully. So let's see what I have here. I also have. Craft Smart Tempera Paint Sticks. I have a couple different ones, and then I have um, Art Skills Paint Sticks. And then I also have Faber Castell Gelato. I, I took out my um, white ones and my silver one because I might uh, want to use that to tone down the colors. A little bit so this is going to be probably one of my last autumn pieces I do so let's see I'm thinking here and these are diaper wipes these are diaper wipes and what I do with these I use these to help blend these paint sticks together before they dry I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to get these 
three colors, a red, a gold, and an orange ready to use. I want to do a, a pumpkin. The pumpkin's coming around. Coming around. So, I hope you all staying warm too. It's getting a little chilly here in the Hudson Valley, but it will even out soon. And the kids in school are definitely feeling it. They're having a hoot and a holler and just. Sensing the change in the seasons, most definitely. And I'm just adding some lighter colors to just blend in and give it a little bit of a, a sheen. I'm going to use the, the white in a second. I just want to fill in some of this. And I'm going to blend it all together. To me, I love pumpkins. I love orange at this time of year. Here we go. This is damp. You just take it and you swirl it and it just blends. You can see that it's just blending the colors together before they dry and giving you a whole new tone of colors. It's really pretty. And it's fun to use. I've made um, master boards using this, just blending lots of colors. I just use a, a wetter spot on your on your rag there and I'm going to get a brown to do the to do the um, stem I'll put some dark brown in that I've got a light brown that I'm going to be using or reddish brown I guess to go in there yep and then I'm going to use a different gold on it. Whoops. Where did it go? Oh, stuck up inside. All right. So that one I'm not using. All right, happens. I'll go back to this one. I have to check that out and see what's going on with it. So it might be time to get rid of it. So there's my pumpkin. I love my pumpkin. Love pumpkins. Blend that gold in a little more. Give him a little more gold sheen on its edges. On its edges. And and actually, these are paint sticks that little kids would use. And they're just, they're just so much fun. So much fun. Next I'm going to do the, uh, the sky over this. Let's just blend them out a little bit. There. Okay, sky. I'm going to do that. I've got a couple of different blues here, and that is where I pulled, that's why I pulled the whites out also, because I want to blend all that together. So you don't have to be really totally neat about everything here, because when you use your blending uh, pads, your, your blending wipes, it'll blend everything together and just make it really... It will fill everything in and uh, give you the effect that you, you want. So I'm going to do the blues first. Let me bring the blue down a bit because I'm going to have the ground there to meet it. The ground will be there to meet it. Do some more lighter blue over this. Yeah, I find these at Hobby Lobby. I found, let's see, which ones are these? This is Craft Smart. I think that is from Michaels. Yes, that's from Michaels. 
The quick sticks are from Hobby Lobby. Um, these art sticks, the paint sticks, they are from the Dollar, Dollar General. So you just buy uh, an inexpensive package of wipes and just blend. It takes a little bit of rubbing, especially because it, it, ha it has a tendency to dry because like I said, they're, they are paint sticks and I let it go a little too long. So what I'm going to do is loosen it up with the white and it will, it will um, activate the blue again and make it, um, there we go, there we go, activated it up, and activated it again, so to make you be able to um, blend it and get the color that you want. Yeah, and just bring it down around the pumpkin. And then once that's dry, you can add more on top of it. And that's it. The pumpkin's already dry. That's not going anywhere. That is not going anywhere. So let's see. Is this good? Okay, this is it. This is how it's supposed to go. I have to figure out what's up with the gold one there. All right, I'm going to put some green here. Let me just do one side at a time, I guess. I got the green. And I'm going to put some dark green on it. Dark green on it. And put, pull some brown into it too because things are not all nice and pretty and green anymore. They've browned out. So let's see, this wipe is still good. And so the ground has browned out a little bit. So there we go. Alright, so let me do the same on the other page. This is coming out pretty cool. Pretty cool. I love working with these. My grandson does too. And we did some um, um, master boards with these. And, uh, and um, they came out really neat. And what we used afterwards, we put some... Um, Stamped with ink, 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 ink stamp, the stampers on it, and put some design over it. So let's see here. There we go. And see that rubbed real nice right on underneath the pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green and add some little lines of grass where the pumpkin is. Just give him give some bit of a dimension to it, and you can also see a little bit of a sparkle in this too. I'm going to add some green to just let it just to give it a little bit of something something here, and a wee bit of brown. There we go. That's coming out pretty. Cool. Let me just uh, temper that down a little. That brown is a little much for me, but that's all right. Just swirl it, and it brings it down. You can always change it with the white and with more. It takes a little bit of rubbing with the white, with the white, and more color on it. All right. Um, so I'm gonna put some birds out there. Yeah, I got a whole bunch. I got a whole box. I even have some distress crayons. I have other um, color sticks too, paint sticks. I'm going to use. Yeah, these. This is the quick sticks also. These quick sticks. So let's see. There we are. I'm gonna put a couple little dark birds out there. He's flying around out there. Now, what I might do, now you, I'm going to add on top, so the, um, um, I'm going to show you how, how it works out when you go on top of what you already did once it's dry. 
I'm going to add some, there it is, a little sneaky little thing. It went back down, went right back in. There it is, back in there. Um, I'm going to make like corn stalks. Stalkies sticking up. Just to make it look like a field. Let me add a little bit of um, brown to that. Not the dark brown, but this other one. These are so much fun. I love them. They're so much fun. You just sit down and just start doodling and coloring and make what, what you want. There we go. Let's talk about the other side. See if I can just uh, temper it a little bit. I'm just going over it lightly, not as hard as I did the uh, the greens and stuff. I just want it to have just a little bit of dimension here. Let's see. Yeah, you're still there. Good. Uh, go here. Do another one. And then I hope you've pulled up something to work along with with me as you're watching and listening. So it's, it's fun to do some things. That looks great. Now I like that. That is great. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow lines in to um, kind of make it a little look a little sunny, bring a little sun, and maybe I'll put a couple orange lines to make it look a little um, more like sunset, which the sun has done here. It's all gone. It has all gone. So, let's see here. A little like a, a sunset. There we go. That was fun. I really like that. That was cool. I'm going to add a little bit around to the top of my pumpkin here and just kind of fill that in. Just fill it in. And then these, if you want, if you really want to do something fun, is keep these. And let them dry out, and they've got um, the pretty cool colors on it from the uh, from from the paint that you that you uh, blended together with them. Well, there we go. Thank you for visiting. Please hit the watermark down there and like and subscribe. And. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and if you have an opportunity, get some of these paint sticks. Try them out. Um, they're really, they're really a lot of fun. If I find, when I find, not if, I will find some pictures of my master boards that I did, and I will post them in the community uh, section on my uh, YouTube channel, so you can see. Um, some of the master boards that we did. So, well, for now, thank you for visiting, and I'm looking forward to coming back soon for another video. I want to show you how I create a cinch book, excuse me, using a little golden book and papers. So let me show you one. Here's the Halloween one I made using a little golden book called The Haunted Mansion, and I added papers, and then I started um, gluing into it all sorts of Halloween stuff and some pictures and kept the story. The story's intact in here. It's, um, it's all here, so then you can read through the story too, and it has some pretty fun stuff in between. So I'm going to do the same thing for Christmas. Um, and it's going to be 
a um, a Christmas daily. It's going to be a, a follow along, and I'm going to put up 31 days. It's a December. It's going to be a December daily, not a Christmas daily. It's going to be a December daily, and I'm going to have a journal page per day. So until then, um, you have a good evening. And I hope you like what you saw. We'll see you soon. Bye now.